Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and the most reliable mug coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. Are you looking to take your Madden game to the next level? Look no further than Sybil.gg for the best ebooks on the market. Choose one of two membership options, and don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 25% off. The wait is finally over. Team Diamonds are finally here. And for the first gameplay, we are looking at the brand new Deuce Daily. Before we hop into it, though, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 30,000 subscribers. The subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And I also will leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I should be live tonight over on Twitch rating teams. I should be. These cards came out way earlier than I thought they were going to. So we should have enough time to also get an irate your team stream in tonight. Hopefully, fingers crossed. And also, I, I will be doing those three teams offline as well in, in the Discord server. So if you're not already in the Discord, link down in the description. Just send your team to the Madden Teams channel. I'll probably rate like three teams right before I go live tonight. So that is the plan. But uh, yeah, the shout out for today's video goes to my man, Leighton Finley. Shout out to Leighton Finley for commenting the emoji on last video. So here is 90 overall Deuce Staley, and if you did watch my first video today, my Team Diamond tier list where I basically just ranked all these new cards that came out today. So if you want to see that video, part on the top right, by the way. But Deuce Staley, like nine times out of ten, EA will use pro football reference to kind of make their players' heights and their players' weights. But for whatever reason, Deuce Staley lost 20 pounds overnight, I guess. I got a feeling that... Someone at EA was going to make Deuce Daily 240, but then they were like, dude, you can't make this card 240. Like, like, you can't. He would be the best back in the game. No one would ever switch from him. This card would be amazing. So uh, EA, they did they did cut Deuce Daily's weight down a little bit. Instead of being 240 like we all kind of thought he was going to be, Deuce Daily's 220. So 220 for Deuce. But still does have elite speed at 91, 91, elite COD. And the card also does kind of have some power back and elusive back aspects. Um, I love how the COD is really high, but kind of like his juke and his spin and his, uh, I mean, his juke's in 92, so I shouldn't say his juke, but his spin and his trucking and his break tackle and his stiff arm stuff like that, they're all kind of, like, high 80s is pretty solid, so Deuce Daly should be able to kind of do everything on top of that. He's the best running back archetype in the game every year, so 79 catching with a 79 short rounding, 80 release for Deuce Daly. This card's going to be wild and can basically do everything, and by the way, please today if you're partaking in any of this content do not buy power-ups today do not i'm not sure if you actually do get power-ups from the sets if you do i might try to sell my power-ups after i do my sets today because i might try to you know rip some people off you know what i mean but hey do not buy power-ups today i will say that right now but here are the abilities for deuce daily here's the first slot here's the second slot and here's the ability that everyone loves on the running back backfield master does get route tech 5 ap which seems kind of wild to me but yeah, Deuce Daly looks pretty solid, man. I, I rock with the Backfield Master, though. Backfield Master 1 AP can open up a lot of new abilities for your offense. And here are the abilities that Deuce um, can get powered up if it lets me go there. Here's Deuce Daly. Here he is powered up, by the way. 92, 92, 93. Just some pretty crazy stats here on Deuce. And by the way, oh, he does get Eagles and Steelers, Ken. So Eagles and Steelers. Only two theme teams for Deuce. And if you if you could boost this guy's speed in any way, that in itself is a major W. So here are the abilities with the power up. I believe it is exactly the same. I don't think he, anything really changes. He, he cannot get spin cycle though, unfortunately, and no evasive either. So I that 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 does kind of hurt this card a little bit. I think that having a spin cycle in this year's game is really important. I really do. And it's looking like a lot, maybe a lot of these receiving backs are not going to get it because they don't get it as easily as elusive guys do. So we're going to have to wait and see kind of throughout the gameplays today. Um, I do plan on dropping a good amount of gameplays today. So make sure you are in the Discord server because, or, or follow me on Twitch because... Yeah, YouTube doesn't send noties all the time whenever I post multiple videos in a day. So make sure you, you either follow me on Twitter or follow me over on Discord. So, yeah, let's just hop into it, man. Deuce Daily, I think he's going to play pretty well. What, what you're going to see today is the card not powered up. I do have a strategy card that gives him plus one speed. And I'll probably just run Backfield Master on him. I'll let you know in the gameplay if I do change that up. But, uh, yeah, let's hop into it. So here we go, loading into game number one. And the original plan was to, you know, get through these gameplays pretty quick by playing House Rules. But house rules is out of the game they they are no longer here they are no longer with us so we've been playing head-to-head -head games today and let's see how it goes man head-to-head -head games usually very i mean this year very 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 sweaty but here we go there's our top three we're facing the big papa spicer who has a who has a little team on him he's got little danny and he's got certain and he's got mike haynes who 
many believe might still be the best corner in this game. He, he really might be, but here we go. Papa Spicer, we're starting this game off on defense. We're having to get a stop before seeing our man Deuce Daly take the field. All right, here we go. Just like that, we are on offense. Uh, my opponent magically put up seven on the board somehow in about 15 seconds. So yeah, here we go. Uh, I didn't even have time to really say anything on defense because I was already getting gashed for a 75 yard touchdown with LT. But here we go on offense. The plan is to not only get Deuce involved in the run game, also in the pass game as well. And I kind of touched on it already. A lot of these game plays might be a little bit shorter today than like the, the usual like 13 minutes. And oh no, not this bro. Anything but this for this for this guy today. But yeah, the game plays might be a little bit shorter, maybe like under 10 minutes in that range. Maybe like one game a player, maybe one or two, depending on how it goes. But because no house was, I don't really have a choice but to if I want to do all these gameplays for you guys. And his spin still felt pretty good right there. At an 85, keep in mind, no boost. This is Deuce Daly, completely nude basically. And he's still spinning out of stuff, making, making things happen. So, so far, Deuce Daly, I was scared about his spin already. I'm not that scared because that was a good animation and good blocking potential oh we, we need we need jimmy grant to pick up that outside guys so we're one-on-one with dbs but hey deuce daily caught a pass and then hey one rush right yards as well let's go we're gonna go right with this thing uh, let's go right with it and see what we can see what deuce can do off the edges um okay and we're through okay let's play that oh b marsh bro b marsh i need you picking up these guys that are running right at the guy behind you b marsh come on man easy run should get a free gash and we do and there's deuce getting tackled by a guy who didn't even animate on him but hey Four rushes, 31, or five rushes, 31. Deuce doing his thing still, man. Here we go. Drop back. Bro, draw runs are kind of crazy. Bro, I'm realizing that the draw... Dude, the way the block set up on a draw run is, is actually really nice. Like, I'm actually a big fan of that. I, that. I picked it on accident the first time, but I saw how big that hole got, and now I'm actually a fan of it. Like, for real, that was nasty, bro. Let's get, out, let's get outside, though. He's trying to pinch, and now we take a corner on him. Oh, broke a tackle. Oh, that is Sertain. Sertain is a bigger corner. Sertain is, Sertain is definitely a little bit bigger than like a Revis or a Deion Sanders or a guy like that, but still, man. All right, get, get me outside. Is that a run command I just saw? That is. We should get a good block here. Get outside, Deuce. Oh, oh my. Dude, how would, dude, how did he rap like that? That's why Haynes is so good. Haynes feels like a linebacker out there whenever I see him, dude. That dude, Mike Haynes, is just a demon on the outsides, bro. You see that? I probably should have cut back the other way. I thought he was going to over pursue. He didn't, clearly. But I thought he was going to. He did not pursue as we chew a whole quarter down with Deuce Daly running the ball. And this is actually my opponent's wild card game as well. But yeah, Deuce feels really good so far, man. Really just no no complaints so far about him besides the fact that EA changed his weight. But other than that, card feels great. And that should be an easy touchdown, Deuce Daly. Let's go. Very good first drive. We gashed almost every single time. And dude, this guy's already going to go ahead and quit the game. Let's hop into game number two, man. Game number two. This, that first game really just flew by, huh? Wait, didn't he? Wait, what? I'm not sure if Condon's going to go dead for a little bit after all this stuff comes out. We're going to have to wait and see. But I think there might be a good chance that Content does go dead, actually. I didn't even think about that. Content might go dead for a little bit. It might. I'm going to try to get backwards. It didn't let me. But dude, they might stop dropping stuff for maybe like a week or two just because they drop all these cards and kind of wait for, I don't know, maybe maybe wait for most fear, potentially. I don't even know what else, what else they would really drop. Uh, let's do the nice HB lead draw. HB lead draw. Nice little draw play. I noticed in the last game how good the draw is in this. And do Staley breaking tackles on Ed Reed. Even though, yeah, even though this man did lose 20 pounds overnight, uh, that dude, he's still gashing right now. And yeah, PHB lead draws. One thing I've learned from this video, it's a very good run. And this formation is getting a lot better to me because we also have a nice little RPO in it. And RPO runs, RPO stretches especially, they hit different, bro. They just go crazy. I'm going to motion out Zonka. Get him out there. Zonka. Oh, that's a good block right there by Zonka. Get me out. There's a spin for you guys. Oh, that spin. Dude, that spin's actually like really good, bro. It's actually really good. All right, so running the ball here might be a little bit tough. He's playing a cover three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pass the ball to Deuce here for a touchdown. We have a rushing touchdown with Deuce. Let's go to the, the wheel route, and we're going to put Waddle on the flat. This play has kind of become my go-to red zone play because of this right here. It should get wide open, and it does, and it's just easy touchdown Deuce Daly. Getting open with that 79 short route running, good hands, very reliable card, and also the card has like this is why this card's scary because not only does he have like i was kind of scared about his spin after seeing this stat i'm not gonna lie to you but after using the card his spin animation is fine can catch passes will break tackles i mean and we're talking like 240 i know it's kind of disappointing that he's not 240 but 220 is still a good weight for a legitimate receiving back that has like 92 cod and 92 juke like this card's kind of crazy and i wonder what he would look like if he does get another upgrade or i'm not sure how else they would upgrade deuce daily i'm also not sure how they'd upgrade a lot of, i missed the field goal I'm not sure how, how they upgrade a lot of these cards, to be honest. But 
Uh, yeah, Deuce Daily's next upgrade, or uh, even if it's like an end game upgrade, will probably be a, a demon just because he'll be super fast, be a receiving back, have crazy power back stats. But even right now, this card I think is still top five. Yeah, top five is kind of hard for running backs because there are so many. Uh, he might be. No, he, he probably is. He probably is. If he was 240, I think easily. But he he's kind of fringe now, I think. But the card still feels great. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the Deuce Daily gameplay. And I do recommend this card, even though he did kind of take us all on a roller coaster. First of all, he was 240. And then, you know, I saw his weight was 220. And then I saw he had an 85 spin move. And then I felt him in game. And the card felt really good on the stick. Um, 92 COD. His weight at 220 still feels pretty good. And also, you know, best archetype in the game. Yeah, I mean, this card, this card's an all-around monster. Can literally do everything. Has some elusive back traits, like super elite elusive back traits. Even has, I think, the same catching as Reggie Bush, I think, which is kind of crazy. But also, yeah, lead speed at 91 91. So, Deuce Staley, a big fan of this card for sure, man. But, I um, mean, definitely a card I recommend. I think he's definitely one of the better team diamonds that we got today in general. So, uh, yeah, if you are still watching, let's comment the eagle emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 22 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.